Hey guys, my JM, October 10th at 12.57 a.m. So, again, daily vlogger living conditions. I try to say it since the next day. So, yeah, I just did a bunch of, hell well, two Halloween videos with Phantom Bud. But, once again, I have conditions, so doing stuff tires me out. So, like, even putting makeup on and getting dressed and doing that, that's my energy for the night. But then I also went shopping and I did a lot of the kitchen today, so I'm pretty tired out. So, uh, yeah, that's why when people are like, oh, why don't I exercise or why don't I do go out or why don't I do this? That's why I keep saying I gotta pick and choose what I can and I can't do. And part of me kind of wants to stay home because I know I'd be tired, but I'll try, like I said. The birthday videos that I want to do, it's mainly for me just to have the memories of because I do it every single year and so then that way people, if they're interested to watch, they could, but like I said, all my gifts came in late, so well, I'm tired of you though, I'm having coffee, the coffee is literally just to keep me awake so I could do this video for my groceries ready, eat, and go to bed. <laughs> so, yeah, um, unfortunately I'm going to go to early tonight. But uh, when I wake up I'm going to do be in the kitchen again, and then I have to go pick up, well I don't have to, well. Uh, I pick up Calvi's kids because I want to on Thursdays. So, like I said, I don't film them, but I film going there. <clears throat> if it's not raining, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. But, um, yeah, so that costume that I wore, I'm going to actually wear it on Saturday and just have tights underneath the dress and have like a turtleneck underneath so I'm warm. <laughs> But that's actually my Jack Gordon um, jean dress so that I got from Value Village a couple years ago. So I was like, oh yeah, I could just really use that. But technically for the amount that I paid for all the accessories, it probably would have just been better just to have gone in a cop classroom used. But I didn't think about it till the last minute. I was like, I want to be a cop since Phantom Butter won't stay in his uh, classroom long. Like, he doesn't like it, so I don't want to force him to be in it too long, just for like five minutes or whatever. So I still put it on him. The hat, I won't try putting on. <laughs> I try putting on him, he won't. So, but I can hold on to it when I hang on to him. Because the hat cost uh, $5 from Dollarama, the one that I was wearing. And then the dress that I have, it's one that, like I said, it's Jeff Gordon. Racer. The dress that I got years ago, I love Jack, still love Jack Gordon. Uh, I'm not really into car racing as I used to be, but yeah, he was my favorite car racer, so I still have that jean dress since it fits. But I hardly ever you, you wear it. And yes, I have my hood up because I'm tired. <laughs> so then I was gonna, since I have my makeup on, I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna do my, my birthday videos. I'm like, nope, too tired. <laughs> I'm too tired. So I was like, oh, because I don't like wearing makeup and I don't like getting dressed up because it tires me out. So that's why I like doing everything, all the videos in one, but I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> but that's fine because then you guys aren't, don't have so many videos at once of just me being dressed up. This is what I call special videos is when I get dressed up and do, uh, show off outfits or something like that. That's what I call my special videos and videos I make of uh, Phantom Bud and stuff. So yeah, uh, I'll show you guys what I got. Cause like I said, I didn't really buy that much. Uh, Cause I only had 20 bucks. So I first went to the produce store, of course. So it was a really good deal though today. So green onions were uh, two for a dollar. As usual, because whenever I see them, they're always like two to three dollars. I'm like, holy smokes! I'm like, I could get two for a dollar, would. <laughs> so yeah, I got four. So I so keep saying that I want to make those pan fried buns, and I still have a bun around to it. So if I don't use up all the green onions, that's what they're for. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, 
sometime this week and I'll do that. <laughs> even though by the time I go to bed it's like 2 or 3 to me that's early because I'm usually up till 5 or 7 so didn't do any of the dishes yet or anything I also got um oh uh two salaries two for a dollar but they're small <laughs> so that's apparently two salaries because I'm almost out of salary and I'm going to make the vegan chicken soup so, that's good. That, that's weird. It says two, but to me it doesn't look like two. <laughs> that's like one. So I got celery for a dollar. And then last but not least, I got pita bread for a dollar eighty-five. That's the whole reason why I got up there. So last time I was like, oh, I forgot pita bread. Because I did find a recipe to make pita bread, but if I could buy it for two bucks, I'd rather just buy it. So I make my own bread. Which I haven't been eating, so I should be eating that soon though. That's everything that I got from Polo Farmer's Market. $4.85. Well, that store, then I went to Dollar Tree. Nothing, no, they didn't have any Halloween costume stuff that was like populated. I checked the toy section, nothing. Not even a hat, not even a bag, so that's why I got that outfit. So that cost 4 25 oh, total 476 so that's not that bad considering you get the handcuffs baton and the badge and it's still on the dress so yeah I already put the thing in recycling so but that's what it looks like and then I could just have this in the pocket so that's why I go since I can't put uh, Phantom Bud in his costume at least I have a gel costume so that's why I'm going to go as Jill and then Pretty Cougar. But for the kids party, I'm going to go as a cock. And then... Yeah, because like I said, this was $5. Pretty much 5 bucks. Just this and the badge. And then the hat was 5 bucks. <clears throat> and then I saw... Uh, I looked on Facebook Marketplace for used uh, cop outfits. And they were like 10, 10 to 20 bucks. But you don't get all the accessories. You get like a shirt and a tie and a badge and like handcuffs. Only a few of them had the baton, so I got Dollarama had it. But yeah, Dollar Tree had nothing. Which is really weird going into a store and not buying anything. <laughs> uh, I feel guilty when I do that. So then I'm like, Man, again, I spent 10 bucks on another costume. So, this payday, I'm not buying anything except for the Freddy Cougar poster, and that's it. I'm not buying any more Halloween stuff. Because <laughs> I gotta, gotta save my money for other things. But, um,. Yeah, it's crazy how things had 20 bucks and again gone yesterday. When I went to, or the other day when I went to Walmart, 20 bucks gone. So I've been pretty much borrowing 20 bucks from people here and there. <laughs> so it's like, wow. So that's fine because, like I said, Halloween's almost, Halloween's going to be over by the 28th. And that's why I'm going to wear this on Saturday. Because I think my pretty cougar uh, outfit will be, would be scary. scary. <sighs> for the kid, for uh, kids. Even if it's just a dress. And then like I was like, yeah, wearing the pajamas and go as Sleepy Freddy. But then like that might terrify the kids. So, and I don't want to wear the same costume that I've been wearing every other year <laughs> so this is also for costume party um and then i'll just get her then i guess after payday so just give the money because <sighs> yeah halloween 
Spirit Helene never did call me back about that costume that I wanted to get them, and then I called and they said they were all out. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess that's why they never called me. So, but they ended up getting something else. So I'm like, well, I'll, I'll still get money anyways. It's not that often that I can do that. But uh, this month I was really low because like I said, I didn't buy, I didn't realize cat stuff went up so quickly. So cat, cat food, cat litter, dry food, everything went up like at least a dollar, two, two dollars. Cat litter went up five bucks. And there's a lot of people right now that are giving away their pets, especially on Facebook, because they can't afford it. And I'm like, I'd rather just borrow money and give them give Phantom Bud cheap food and then, rather than giving him away. <laughs> and then give him better food later. But I think because I got him the special kitty food, he, he doesn't like it. So that's why I got the Friscos. So yeah, I just bought the... So yeah, no matter what, I, I hang on to my gas. No matter how much, how expensive, doesn't matter. Because um, if worst comes to worst, I have to borrow from the SPSA, then I will. But... Like I said, uh, other people need that more than I do. And, uh, cause I actually have people that I can count on. So, I got, when I went to North Rose, I got toilet paper, five bucks. Cause I'm almost out. This is not, this will last till payday at least. <clears throat> for me. <laughs> and then on payday, I'll, I'll get my family to go to Costco. Cause I don't need it right away. I don't want to bug them now. Because I didn't realize how much I went through. Because even at Costco, even though it's like a big thing of toilet paper for 22 bucks. You don't have 22 bucks. And <laughs> you gotta get... Because I got this for 5 bucks. And this will last me at least till payday. So payday is like uh, 2 weeks away. Almost 2 weeks away. So 20, 23rd. I did, yeah, because we're going out for dinner on the 22nd, the day before payday. I was like, okay. <laughs> but then that means I have to pay you pay you on on payday for that. So yeah, I'm going to owe a lot of money this month again. But that's fine. Like I said, I'm not buying anything. Halloween this month, I kind of went overboard because of my birthday. So I got all this Freddy Cougar stuff. I am going to get the Freddy Cougar poster though because it's only 8 bucks. And that's at Walmart. That's a really nice one too. So when I saw it, I was like so tempted of getting it, but then I was like, I gotta get cat dry cat food. Ow. Dry skin. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with Phantom Butter, but he's pretty quiet. He just sleeps on the bed. <laughs> he is, which is weird because he's always in here meow, meow, meow. I don't think it's because I put the classroom on, on him. Because he was eating. And he acted like he didn't care that I was on him, but I took it off. So I don't know. I'm not going to do any more Halloween uh, photos until with Back to Bud until like Halloween. Because I got a lot of photos. And uh, yeah, just hopefully it's. He's just tired. It's just weird though. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, you're sleeping so much, usually you're going up the walls. <laughs> That's like, I think it's the season change, though, because I've only had him since June, not even four months, so, like, I get tired when the season changes. People get tired during the season change, so I think that's, like, with him, too. But I might give him some catnip. Uh, tomorrow and see if that helps him be a little more active. I don't think there's anything wrong with him because like I said, he's eating, he's drinking, he's still going meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Just not as much, so. Although when I was going to a shower, he was playing with the uh, cat toys that are hung up on my bathroom door. <laughs> And he's so loud, he's like, bang. <laughs> like, what the heck is that noise? I'm like, oh, it's Bud. <laughs> it's Phantom Bud. So, yeah. Um, so, last, uh, so, yeah, I got toilet paper. 
And then I got four Fuscuz cans. I got, I got, uh, cause it said the one can I already opened, uh, 90 cents. So I thought if I get nine, then that would be enough for $10, for $10, but it was more than that. I was like, wow, three, four, five, that makes sense. Yeah, that, no, I forgot about that cause <clears throat> I forgot I only had 10, so <laughs> I was thinking 10, 10, 10 of these and, and the toilet paper. I'm like, oh yeah, of course, no, yeah. So three cans, that should last probably at least till like the end of next week. And then I'll just probably borrow money from my mom once the weekend when I see her. So, or ask her to pick up cat cans, but usually she just gives me money. So that's usually better. And then it'll be almost payday, so, but this should last at least till, like, the end of the week. Because, like I said, I only give, like, half, so, one, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night. I might even do little if he's not eating it, so. Also, in the Buy Nothing group, they're always, uh, saying, giving away cat food and stuff, so you, that's the other reason why I'm, like, more important to get toilet paper and dry food because cat cans are easy to get. <laughs> so, yeah. And like I said, my mom will probably give me money because she usually does. So, then I could just use that for more cat cans. I don't really need anything else. I got, like I said, I have bread, I have uh, coffee creamer. I have vegetables that I gotta cook up. So yeah, I do have a lot of stuff. It's just that I just have to make it, so. <laughs> the only thing is tofu I can't really afford right now. I have one thing of the firm tofu, which I'm gonna use for the rice, the vegan egg rice. And then, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it? And then I have the, small, the soft tofu, I still have three of those, so that's good. Like I said, I haven't really been cooking that much, and I'm trying not to cook with tofu anymore. Like, not as much, just because it's so expensive now. Like, even at sunrise, it's not it's the same price, four bucks. So, three, four bucks for one thing of tofu. That's insane. <laughs> but, <clears throat> that's okay, I don't need tofu, I got other, other things. To the eat, I got pierogies and pasta and bread and yeah, I could live off pasta and bread. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna have to eat before I go to sleep is past the pasta with the pita bread. Just gonna have it with noodles and vegan butter, and then put this in the microwave with vegan butter. And uh, yeah, that's it. Cause I know, I know I gotta eat up my bread that I, that I made, but it's like, I'm too tired. Uh, I feel like pita bread. <laughs> yeah, it's funny too, cause I keep forgetting that I have those potatoes, and usually I like to put that in the microwave with the vegan cheese on it for like five minutes, and it's so good. So, I'll do that tomorrow, cause I already, <laughs> I already put the pasta in the microwave too, so then that way after I go for a smoke, I could do that. So yeah, that should be enough. Like I said, I still have the, uh, special kitty cat food, so I've been slowly mixing that with the Fisco's cat food. And then he eats it, so I'm not ready to go to waste, but yeah, he's just a picky cat right now. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on him the next few days, but Cause I don't go to the vet for every small little thing anymore because usually, like I said last time, I took him to the vet, they are like, he's fine. <laughs> he's completely fine. So, and that's one thing that I do too. So, <clears throat> I don't know, if, cause I, before I used to work at Tysol and like, in grocery stores, so facing was one of my biggest jobs when you face up the barcodes. So I always, I'm fast at that though, and like, even when I'm at uh, Walmart, when I'm looking at the cat cans, trying to figure out which one I'm like doing, <laughs> I'm doing their job facing it, 
<laughs> and people are looking at me funny. I'm like, I was just based, that's one of my jobs. It was fun. Facing and pricing. Pricing and facing. Those two, two fun jobs, but yeah, so now whenever I hold like things like this, and if it's like crooked, then I do it. <laughs> or even if I see something at the store and it's crooked like that, then I then I fix it. <laughs> to me, it's like Tetris almost. That's how I look at it. And then I told a few of my friends about that, and they're like, "Yeah, I I have the same issue. <laughs> if things aren't a certain way." Even if it's not your stuff, you gotta fix it. Because it just drives me nuts. I'm like, yeah. Just like my plates, how I was telling you guys before when I put my uh, plates away. I always pick up the, the ones on top and then I put the new ones underneath. And then I put the old, the other ones on top. So it's like, so then that way <laughs> the new ones are on the bottom. I'm like, I think I worked in retail way too long. <laughs> My whole life is like that. Well, that's what I keep saying, too. Joey Lawrence even said, it's a, part, uh, if you, it's a part of control. So he does it because he has OCD, or no, not OCD, ACD, or what's called. The thing where everything has to be perfect, so those places like Neat Freak and everything, it's like everything has to be a certain way. <clears throat> but when you go into a room, not everything is clean, but everything is a certain way because that's what you can control. You can't control everything around you. So that's why if you see something and it's annoying the heck out of you, that's because that's the only thing you can control. I'm like, yeah, that's that's so true. <laughs> that is so true because I can't control my life. I can't control my condition. I can't control what happens uh to me and how i feel but i can control if this is straightened or not <laughs> which is funny so it's like i'll straighten it out so <laughs> i love joey lawrence joey matt and andy lawrence i still watch the really love pod and yeah what was it uh yeah somebody in live, actually three people on live told me about uh, a YouTube channel from Vancouver. So I started watching it. And all that he do is talk bad about downtown east side, so I don't like it. <laughs> like even in the titles of every single one, she's like, This this is what what the 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 <laughs> in the title. And she talks about about Trudeau and all these politics, and I'm like, but it literally feels like she's complaining about her life living on downtown east side. So I'm like, why do you live down? <laughs> Can't you uh, try to find ways to move somehow? <laughs> I mean, there is ways. I mean, like I said, I don't know her situation, but talking bad about a place that you can't stand, of course you're going to feel like crap. But I go down to Hastings all the time, and that's why I'm like, I don't, that's why I don't like that channel, because they're just talking shit all the time, saying how bad it is, and I'm like, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. So, yeah, I, I unsubscribed to her, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure you guys know who I'm talking about. But yeah, I just can't watch people like that when people are putting down, or people that are negative. Like, sometimes I'm negative, but at least I have a positive spin on things. Like, everything happens for a reason. God's still here. Like, that's why I go. So at least I got uh, a thing. Yeah, life is shitty, but there's so many reasons to, to live for. So, like, having Phantom Bud. I mean, before when I didn't have Phantom Bud, and I was only... I was de depressed for a year straight. All I had was a YouTube. And so I was like, at least I'm grateful for having YouTube. Because during my conditions, I couldn't even do YouTube. Really, because I was shaking too much. So, it, yeah, that would have been difficult to keep doing. Doing <laughs> shaking on camera. Ugh. 
Thank God for medication. <laughs> That's why I just keep saying that. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. See, if I was in a bad situation, I if I didn't like living here, like you guys know I hate living here, but I stay for my family and cheap smokes. But if I didn't like living here, I would hitchhike and go to a place that I like, like Alberta or something like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just keep talking bad about a place where I live and not do anything about it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of sad. Like, I don't really know much about her, but it's pretty much her dog on Hastings and I don't think you ever see them, but I saw a few of her videos. I was like, well, she's gonna have that kind of attitude. Of course, she's gonna hate, hate being on Hastings. <laughs> Like I said, I didn't I didn't live on Hastings, but I spent a majority of my time on Hastings as a teenager because that's where <clears throat> people do drugs, right? And my friend, uh, the guy that I was in love with, he would literally we would stay at people's places that were uh, <clears throat> the p word, which I can't say. <laughs> I probably get in trouble for that. Uh, so, yeah, then doing that, I mean, being around those people, it actually helped me because they kept saying, do whatever you can, don't, you don't want this kind of life, don't, don't, don't do it, and they talked me out of it, so, but, um, yeah, like I said, if you're not, if you're not happy about your life, and you can't do anything about it, don't be negative about it because it's not going to make anything better. That's why my dad does not have a lot of friends because he's very negative too. And I know a lot of people that are very negative and I keep telling them you got to say reasons why you're grateful because even if you have nothing, you still have something more than what somebody else has. Like look what's going on in Florida, for instance. We don't, yeah, today it's pissing rain. You don't have to deal with that, do you? <laughs> so it's like, that's why I keep saying it could always be worse. And we gotta be thankful for what we have. We pray for those in Florida. <clears throat> and those who don't like the situation that they're in and just complain about it and don't do anything about it. Such as my, <laughs> such as my dad, I hate to say. But um, he's also old, so... There's not a lot of resources, and then this person, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, I just stopped watching it. <laughs> so just letting you guys know, because you guys told me to watch them. I'm like, I don't get why you guys told me to watch her. <laughs> All I keep doing is talking about how bad Vancouver is. And like I keep saying, I hate Vancouver a lot, but I don't, I'm not complaining about it 24-7. And I'm not saying that these shit people said this and these shit people said that and no, oh, we got all those druggies and <clears throat> yeah, no, I I don't do that. So like I said, I've I've been down on these things before. So <laughs> maybe that's the end. I think too. That's another reason why, because a lot of my friends are like, "You actually go out at nighttime by yourself? Are you sure that's safe?" And I'm like. Uh, when you go to parks and Hastings and stuff like that at nighttime, when you're a teenager, you kind of know how to look after yourself and make sure you don't get into trouble and stuff like that. So that's why I keep saying as long as she is my past has been, at least I learned from it. I learned a lot of stuff from it. And like I said, I can't go into details about, about that life. Because that was a long, long time ago, and it was only like a year, but it was a year of, <laughs> a year of crap. Actually, I think it was two years, now that I think about it, but <clears throat> nobody knew. <laughs> well, my mom knew, but she didn't know like everything, so... But yeah, like I said, if it, if I didn't have that past, everything that, that's probably why I'm the person that I am now. Why I'm just like, oh, why do you say that about a place? It's not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's not that, it's, I feel safe when I go out at night. 
I don't know. I don't wear my headphones. I look around what's going on all the time. <laughs> Except for when I'm on the bus, I do fall asleep. But, well, oh, there's this, I guess, because I'm just so used to it. So, a lot of times I spent on the street in the middle of the night. <laughs> No, 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 but no matter what, I still wouldn't, even, in, that's the number one question that I get asked a lot. If I could change my life, would I? No. Regardless of all the conditions, regardless of my past, regardless of the way that I was born, regardless of the pain, I would not change it. Because this is the life that was given to me. And, like I said, I learned a lot from it. And, yeah, I just take it day by day and... Even though my place is a mess right now, I'm, t I'm tired, so <laughs> I'm going to put my stuff away and go for a smoke and then warm up my food and go to bed. Well, eat and go to bed, watch Two and a Half Men, but yeah, um, just remember if you're, if you don't like something, just don't keep going on about it. That's, that's not going to make it better. What makes it better is saying good things about it. Or changing the situation you're in. If you if you don't like the Vancouver BC, then move. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, but there are ways to get to get around and to move. Like I said, I don't move because I got family here and I got my cat here now and I got cheap smokes. So so I go even though I hate Vancouver, I'll stay. <laughs> but if I didn't have all these things that probably would have left a long time ago but anyways i'm still here in vancouver bc and uh that's the other thing too if anybody's mocking you make fun uh if anybody's saying bad crap of you make fun of them <laughs> that's the reason why we do this halloween butt account and stuff jail stuff so, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go to bed, put my stuff away, eat, and go to bed. And I will talk to you guys next time I'm awake. Welcome to my hunch world. XO, XO, OG, Daily Vlogger.